Hello dreamers and welcome back to another Diamond Painting 101 tutorial video. Today's topic is all about our Dream Tech adhesive. The glue that's on our canvases that is so strong yet so workable you'll wonder what it is. Today Natalia is going to talk all about it and why it's better than some of our competitors. Let's jump right in but please go ahead and give this video a like and also subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Let's go. Hello dreamers, welcome back. Natalia with you here. And today we will talk about glue. Now, what is pour on glue or double sided tape glue? And it's really important because in some occasions you receive your diamond canvas that is looks good but then when you open you will find lots of defects which is uh, safe to say that diamond painting from dreamer design you will get always crisp and nice outcome because they have a poor glue and it will ship to you nicely in the box inside of the other box versus shipping in a bag where you know for sure your diamond painting will be squished flat while getting back to you uh, from China, Amazon or other um, website. So while this, for example, if this canvas would be a, a double-sided glue, that is 100% you will have a whole bunch of creases and um, air trap under the canvas glue. Uh, which is if this delivery also will come for you with the poor glue most likely will survive not bad so we will talk about this a little bit later in the example when I get to the canvases but I mean what honestly what would you choose what kind of shipping to protect your diamond painting uh, bag with absolutely just a bubble wrap and box with diamond painting that will be inside of the other box and together with the roller to protect you nicely canvas right so you have to choose what you want and if you are looking for diamond painting for example you can have um, a full sheet this is just the one panel of the diamond painting and you can have like one sheet cover with the glue uh, and then you can have, for example, this kind of canvas that I have here that come with a whole bunch of, of strips of glue that was placed exactly and a little strips and then you can have lots of problems with this kind of canvases and we go deep to it and I will show you an example what can happen if your diamond um, glue cover one sheet or a whole bunch of different little sheet strips or pour glue so let's go and check it out our diamond painting would be by dreamer design when you can see uh, that pour glue first of all it will be um, much different look on the other side because you're not gonna see any creases also this glue is much stronger and will protect your diamonds it will adhere your diamonds much more better than the other one so if you want to see a little bit close up what I'm talking about let's go guys to the table and I will show you the example of pour on glue versus tape glue what can make a difference and what you should look for in this example I like to show you what the difference can make if you have pour glue or double-sided sticky glue um, and that can create the air bubbles that trapped under the glue sheet um, and in here if I can bring my canvas very closely and uh, for example I will show you first canvases from other companies as you can see you see those beads are sticking up right this row you see how they not sticking properly to the canvas because the air bubble stuck under between sheet of the canvas and the glue so that's what happened and that bubble create up there if you don't fix it 
it will show you those beads sticking out like that and I try to bring as close as possible so you can see you see the bead, bead how it's sticking out eventually it will pop out which is already half way out and I can lose the bead and if I can show you from far away you you probably will see the whole row of this bead if we can look like this you can see the difference uh, because it is air bubble trap under and it's visually you can see even if I get like this to the side canvas from far you see there is no uh, like a smooth surface you can see it looks like it's wrinkle in here right so in this um, example what you can do before you start your diamond painting what I would suggest to do grab an exacto knife and then you do very gentle cut on the canvas uh, not canvas itself but the glue you can cut very gentle glue and then you press you would put your sheet on the top and you press the glue into the glue if you cut in here from this side you push this way and then you push this way glue that way it will cover that ridge there was a bubble air and you let the bubble air out and you will have your beads sticking better to the canvas which in this example I did not do that because I did this long time ago and I was hoping then when I press my gems my diamonds I was hoping it will fix it will stick that glue into the canvas but it didn't happen that way so now when I've received for example from um, AliExpress if I receive some canvas and I see some bubble air I always cut first I press I fix it even in some uh, occasions I would put my canvas inside out put my paper on the top and I go with a hot iron but not like a burning burning hot and sometimes iron help to reactivate glue and push kind of the bubble air out so this is one of the example how to fix it if you working with the canvas that has double sided glue in this example I have here canvas that has also double sided glue sheet and in here what even more worse it has those little sheets like this see sometimes you receive big sheet that can cover all your canvas in here we have short list and what happened in this example the way they cut and place later on the canvas sometimes they leave a little space that doesn't stick very close to each other and if I can zoom in maybe we will see what I'm talking about um, if you have this in here you can see you can see that where a line was sticking together and sometimes I see very often uh, when you guys have received a canvas like this it could be like a half of the square from one side and another it could be mess it doesn't have a glue if the sheets don't contact together very well so what happened then you you're gonna have uh, sometimes they overlap and it's a struggle to separate them because one sheet of the glue would be stick right on the top of this cover paper and that way even more mess because then you try to pull it out and rip the protective sheet they will stick to the canvas glue now with the sticking I cover sides with the tape but I can show you an example again of the same canvas I have to know if you have poor glue or double-sided glue if I would grab this 
glue in here I can pull out this sheet because it's unsticking I don't know the lights probably not gonna let him, let me but I can grab a glue and pull it out which with the pour glue you can't do that why because the way it's pour and I'm gonna show you an example of dreamer design canvas which we have here beautiful when September ends we have here pour glue so no matter how I would try to lift it up this glue I can't do it because this is like literally melt and to the fabric so there is no chance the way it's made by machine and heat there is no chance to have air bubbles sneak under this glue because a glue liquid and they well obviously pour glue says itself what it does so this kind of canvases you will receive from dreamers design that is absolutely in perfect condition you're not gonna have any creases in this glues you're not gonna have any air bubbles as well so what I'm saying it's always good to choose poor glue instead of double-sided tape glue and here's another good example of pour glue versus double-sided glue guys the time when I was talking to you and showing you example look I already lost the bead in here here you go it's already came out and it's tell you the quality that double-sided tape glue it's sticky but not as strong as you would do with the pour glue so obviously now I have to fix it and I see more and more it, there's the beads keep popping because I have on this canvas two lines that I have a air bubble was going through the canvas so that's why they are kind of coming out so definitely pour glue is a winner and dreamer design has warranty and lifetime guarantee that your beads not gonna come out because the glue is really high quality guys so here is a little thing that I would wanted to mention let's go to our next tip and the Oscar goes to dreamer design canvases pour on glue yes guys instead of this get one of this okay if you order already diamond painting from dreamer design that you know you will receive good quality diamond painting not only shipped with care and love box inside of the other box so even this box not gonna get damaged and in my example when I order before from Aliexpress I received canvases in the box but those square boxes were squished so badly they came to me absolutely flat and I do have a video review about it so this is not only protected your box but also this beautiful box will be shipped to you inside of the other box to protect everything which you have on the inside also the pour on glue is the winner definitely 100% your diamonds will stick to the canvas really strong and will not fall out because as you saw already while I was showing you this diamond painting the diamonds already coming down because the sticky double sided glue not as strong as pour on glue first of all the layer is much thicker and the consistency of the pour on glue much stronger so your diamonds of course will sit on your canvas much better and there's a zero chance they will fall out also if you worry about that maybe sometime in the future will fall out the dreamer design have protect protection for you as insurance that they ensure you that your diamonds will stay nice and strong and if you have any problem you contact dreamer design it will solve your problem so as you can see the dreamer design pour on glue versus the other companies that have double sided glue is definitely a winner for pour on glue it's stronger it's better it will serve you much more longer 
and will be never lose the stickiness at all so i hope this video helped you and you will choose your destination what you like to order next time and not always company can um put you in a description what kind of glue they use so with dreamer design you always know that we do have uh, pour on glue and we stay there on the website the other company not always will tell you so it's hard to choose and hard to um, kind of uh, to see what kind of glue they use and you only will figure out this when you get your diamond painting shipped to you and you hope and pray that it's not damaged and it's all in in one piece obviously so thank you so much for watching me today and I will see you in my next episode Thank you so much for joining us on yet another Diamond Painting 101 tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. We hope you have a fantastic week and remember to paint with passion. Goodbye!